Hi, beautiful. Today, we're watching some people dye their hair shades of green. It's one color that I'm a little bit afraid of. It's very pretty, but for some reason it scares me. But I'm ready to be inspired today by the looks we're about to see. I hope they're good. I hope it makes me want to dye my hair green because at some point it's got to happen. It's a beautiful color and maybe it's my color. I don't Oh yeah, I feel like it'll really bring out the green in my eyes. But first, we have a little giveaway going on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I'll be giving to two people every single X Mono color that has been released so far. That is seven colors. All you gotta do to enter this giveaway is follow X Mono Color on Instagram and follow me on Instagram and then just show your love. That's literally it. And I'll be picking two winners on April 5th and you'll be notified through Instagram DM. And I'll also be posting the winner on my Instagram story. So be on the lookout for that. That is the giveaway. Good luck. And I can't wait for two of you to get every single single color I've ever created so far. With that all said, let's watch some people color their hair all sorts of shades of green and hopefully it comes out good. I don't know, let's do it. Up first, we have a video by Get a Gumdrop. This is called X Mono Super Green on my boyfriend for St. Patrick's Day, pink to green transformation. I haven't seen any videos about the green yet, so I'm very excited for this. Today, we're gonna take Michael's hair from super pink to super green. We're gonna take these really dark roots and we're gonna bleach them right now. Can we talk about how nicely um, that super pink faded out of his hair? I'm sorry, that looks good. His hair looks healthy, gorgeous, shiny, flawless, amazing, and I can't wait to see how this transformation goes. And then. We're gonna take a bleach wash to the pink parts of his hair to try to get all that out. And then I'm gonna turn it green. I love this plan. We're gonna bleach the roots and do a bleach wash on the ends. This is perfect, this is flawless. This is exactly what I would have done. I could cry, I'm so excited for her. So we're starting, we're working our way around his roots and we're starting in the back. I always start in the back uh, because it's easier to wash out first when you're in a salon, wash the back out before the front. But also the back has the most hair. So it's just nice to start there um, and get that over with in the beginning while you have energy and then go to the front. You know, it's just a better plan in that way. She's taking her time and that's what I love about this right now. She's really going in there and getting all the roots nice and even. Oh, look at those beautiful sections. They're so clean, they're so fresh. Wow, this is music to my eyes. The only thing I have to say right now is you're using no product. <laughs> put the bleach on the hair. You want it to look like you just put a bunch of frosting on his hair on each section. You don't want to just like have a see-through amount of bleach on the hair. You want it to be opaque. You want it to be white. You want it to be really saturated on that hair. And then also in the beginning, you could just um, part it into four sections, but you do you. You're rocking it. I have officially got Michael's hair coated in bleach, so I'll see you after we get it washed out and we'll take a look at his hot roots. I'm actually trying to make hot roots this time. Yes! Michael is back from rinsing out the bleach from his hair, so we've got these bright blonde roots with some pink at the ends. Let me just say the roots look fabulous. Since you're going green, it's okay to have a little bit of yellow in your hair still. It'll just make the green a little bit more brighter and a little more neon, which I think is totally great and fine. And also, yeah, it's totally fine to have your hair a little damp for a bleach wash. You're actually supposed to have it like towel dried wet when you put the bleach wash on. That way it's not as harsh and going to literally damage the shit out of your hair when you put it on. I didn't plan on doing the bleach wash tonight. I was gonna do it tomorrow, but like, screw it. Let's just go ahead and get it done tonight. Get all the stuff taken care of, get this out of your hair. Okay, so she's like, I would have done this tomorrow um, and you know, let his hair chill for a second, which I think you should have done only because typically we don't put bleach washes like directly on the roots in this setting. Cause you just bleach his root. He has no more oils on his scalp to protect it. It's gonna be really painful and burny and it's not gonna feel good. You're putting another round of bleach on his scalp and it's going to hurt. Next time, probably wait in between or don't get it on his scalp. I think I've gotten a little more on some blonde spots than I needed to. I'm not confident that this is gonna do too much only because his hair was already really faded. And honestly, the green would have just went over that light, very light shade of pink since it is super green. My shit is powerful. It'll cover that very pale pink. You could have just skipped the bleach bath. It didn't take out as much pink as I kind of hoped it would. I heard that red and blue are pretty hard colors to get out. And since pink is kind of a type of red, Pink is a type of red, and red is the hardest color to get out of your hair. It has some of the biggest dye molecules. 
All right, tilt your head forward. I'm going to start at the back, yeah. My favorite part is that she's using the x Mondo color right out of the jar. That is exactly why we did jars. I love to not have to dirty up more bowls. Unless you're mixing it, then that's totally fine. You know what? No, I'm gonna start on the pink. Start on the pink? That's probably a good idea. Let it sit there longer. So you could honestly just take your hands and put it on his entire head. It's not gonna make a difference where you start because it's a semi-permanent color. It is not going to lighten the hair or do anything different no matter which part you start with or which part you end with. Ooh! You scoop your hand in and put it on the hair. Literally, it should take two minutes max to put this color on and then use a comb and just comb it all through. It's really that easy for somebody who has no knowledge about doing hair. And because of the hyaluronic acid, the proteins, the bond builders, the oils, his hair is going to look so shiny and be so healthy from the inside out. And I can't wait to see the gloss on his hair after this. Ooh, it's gonna be so freaking cute. Ooh. All right, so we got all the hair dye in his hair. He's green and good to go, and it looks to me like there's an awful lot of blue undertone in this so that when it does fade, it's gonna fade to more like a minty bluish green. And that's gonna be super pretty as opposed to that hollowed out like nuclear waste green that yeah. some greens can fade to that doesn't look super pretty. That's exactly what it does. It does not fade out to an ugly color. We really focus on making the undertones of our hair color a really gorgeous color so that when they fade, they fade out really nicely and you don't end up with some disgusting ugly color. And that's what happens when a hairdresser makes a line of color. Not to toot my own horn, but toot 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 toot. All right, so we got everything rinsed out of Michael's hair and it's, well, you know what? I'll just let you see for yourself. Michael? Oh my God. Holy sh green. Dover whatsoever. Why don't you lean a little closer to show actually. There is no pink left in his. Look how shiny it is. Oh my God, it looks so good. Yellowy green, just kind of like when I dyed my hair. But that's because we had a little pink left at the tip. But for what we had, I think it turned out fantastic. Oh yeah. And this color looks really, really good on you. It looks incredible. His hair is so shiny and so healthy. Oh my God, that green is literally blinding. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed and I'm so happy they love it as much as I do. Bravo, bravo, that was gorgeous. Let's check out the next video. Up next with a video by Morgan, and this is called Dying My Hair Green. Wow, creative title, I love it. Woo, go girl. I have to get this orange out of my hair. Don't really know how to do that. I got this color prep. I'm not familiar with color prep. Um, I'm guessing just like a really intense clarifying treatment, which is great, good idea. I hope this is at least a little bit safer than bleaching. That's why I'm trying this first, because I really don't want to bleach my hair. You're probably gonna have to bleach it again. Okay, so you guys, once this is developed and hopefully my hair isn't orange anymore. I'm back and my hair is yellow. <laughs> kind of bring me back to when I used to be blonde. Sorry, whoa, that works really well. That took out so much color out of her hair. Now she has a great canvas to put green on. It's nice and yellow. It's gonna look really bright green and I'm excited for this outcome. Okay, work, Morgan. I'm gonna put green over this and hope that it turns green. Y'all seen these before. This is like where I put my hair dye and I have this thing that I always start to use and then I end up not using it because I'm like, this is annoying. But whenever I watch hair dye videos, people use these. I mean, for a semi-permanent color, you guys don't need to use a brush. I use it because I'm just really used to it and I've done it my whole life. I've always used a brush. It just feels more natural than my hands sometimes. Semi-permanent color, just put it on. Really rake it through, get it in there, comb it through. You're supposed to start with the ends because the ends develop faster than the roots. Just a little something I learned on the World Wide Web. Well, that's not true. Um, if you were bleaching your hair, that would um, not be true also uh, because your roots process faster than your ends, not the ends processing faster than your roots. And you're using semi-permanent color, which does not lift at all. It just deposits tone. So you can just put it wherever you want, however you want. We're working our way around the head. We're getting it all done. And I'm so excited to see this outcome. I'm feeling pretty good, except for the fact that she's not really coloring her roots, which is scary. Oh, she is coloring her roots. She did it. Okay, good. Here it is. We green. Uh, it looks so good. I actually really like it and I can't stop looking at myself because I'm conceited. I think I'm gonna get some color depositing shampoo so I can keep it this color longer because this is like exactly how I wanted it. I love this color on you. It looks so good. I like it a lot more than the orange. I mean, they're just two completely different looks. I think they both look great, but the green is really fun on you. It looks really good. Next video is by It's Mar One and this is called I Dye My Natural Hair Neon Green, a bleaching 
catastrophe. I'm so excited for this video. Yes, you read the title correctly. I'm gonna be dyeing my hair um, neon green. And this is, what is this, Kiss Color. So my plan is I'm not gonna be dyeing my whole head green. In the front, like two strips in the front, and it's gonna go around to the back but it's not gonna be like my whole head that was terrible i don't know how to explain it but i'm just gonna like have to show y'all i am spooked there's a lot going on with your hair why did i just turn into mickey mouse all of a sudden okay so we got the dark roots the natural dark roots we got green mids box dye black ends good f luck sounds like from the title of bleaching catastrophe it's not gonna happen very well and i don't doubt that because this is very difficult i can't wait to see what her plan is because this is a lot it just took me like a whole like 20 plus minutes to part my hair right but yeah i have a part in the back and then uh this clip right here is like the two streaks that i'm gonna do in the front the sectioning looks beautiful though whoa i wasn't expecting that i would have liked if it was more of like a circle because like why are we doing like a like a like a you know it should be like a and y'all, I don't have any aluminum foil, so I don't really know how I'm gonna go about this. How are you gonna add heat to the sections? Your roots are gonna be yellow, and your ends are gonna be like dark red. We need foils, and we need sectioning, and we need to do a lot of sections. Why is this the largest section ever? Oh, and we're just putting it on with her. And we're not putting enough lightener on it. We're really, we're really doing the bare minimum here. All right, it's fine. At least she didn't start her roots in this application because she does need to get that darkness out of her ends first. And you guys, you can start at your roots in some applications, all right? Everybody always calls me out when I retouch my roots. And they're like, don't start at the roots. I'm like, guys, you have to. That's the only part I'm wanting to color today is my roots. I'm glad I got that off my chest. Ah, God. At least we're putting a bag on. Oh, okay a couple of bags. And I can also see that the back has not changed the color a bit. And that is what happens when you use black box dye. You cannot get that out no matter what. Y'all. Ah! Oh my gosh. No. Um, so I rinsed it out. And let me just show y'all the back first. So the back portion that I rinsed out, this is like what I was expecting, right? Like blonde up here and then it's kind of like a honey blonde down here. I mean, listen, we definitely got green on those ends. But then the front, it kind of did something a little funky. It lifted up the green and it kind of created like this weird pastel. One of my biggest concerns right now is the fact that you missed the entire section like right there. Like the root section is not colored. And then it goes yellow and then it goes like a mint. And then it goes to like muddy green at the end. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm hoping that I can just put green on top of this. You're about to put neon green over that? Girl, saying permanent hair color does not lift brown out of your hair. <laughs> and her hair is wet while she's applying this, which I wouldn't recommend, but oh my God. No, 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 All right, hey guys, I'm back with the final result. And I mean, honestly, like I like the top. The roots look really good, but as you can see, it kind of like starts to fade once you get it down. Like it's still green. Ha, ha 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 This is like the color right here. You know what I'm saying? My hair was dyed black. So like I knew that it was going to be hard to lift and stuff like that. So the back, it is something really weird. Like low key, I think I might have over processed it. Mm. Because y'all saw how blonde it was. Like it was really blonde. Something went wrong. I don't know y'all. <laughs> Can we please just fix that part like where you missed like that entire triangle section? I hope somebody enjoyed this. If you're thinking about dyeing your hair, then you should probably just do it. Like you only live once, honestly. What you could do, I know you want that neon green. Matching your roots to your end color would be your best option right now. I don't think it's a bad color on your ends. Just doing a darker green on the top and evening everything out will be so much better. But if you love your hair, then that's you and i appreciate that and i can live with that it's not exactly my preference but if it's yours then go for it you look stunning beautiful amazing no matter what <laughs> well did that make me want green hair more a little bit are you gonna see me next week with a different hair color maybe you just never know with me anymore i don't even know with myself anymore i don't know I, I have an addiction to changing my hair and I can't help it, you know? It makes me feel like a different person and I like being a different person every week in my life. So make sure you guys enter my giveaway that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. And if you didn't see that, go rewind and check that out. And I'll be announcing the winner on April 5th through DM and on my Instagram story. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here on all my social media handles all around me. Go for it. Make sure you text me at this number right here. Yes, it's really text my phone. Yes, I really use your messages. And yes, I will really be responding to some of you guys right now if you text me. This number will also keep you notified every time I post a new 
video. Make sure you subscribe right down below, click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you guys would like to check out my hair care brand, X Mondo, you can check it out. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? X Mondo hair and X Mondo color on Instagram to get some hair inspiration. And you can also shop everything right down below on our websites, X Mondo hair and X Mondo color.com. My hair color is super red and super purple mixed together. And it creates this wonderful concoction of a cooler toned red. It's so pretty, I love it. If you'd like to live your extra life, well, you can. I have a bunch of live your extra life merch that I wear literally every day of my life and it's so f comfy. You can shop all the merch linked below for you at xmonohair.com. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Daisy. She says, I'm obsessed with your videos and hair. I'm only 15 years old and I can finally dye my hair and I'm a dark blonde, what shall I do? Red would look so good on you. Literally the color I'm wearing right now. And you can just put it over your existing hair color. You don't have to lighten it or do anything else. And it's semi-permanent, so it will fade out of your hair nicely. I think that's so good. And you're young, do something fun and wild. Give it a try, Daisy. And if you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.